Welcome back to the channel, gamers. In this episode of Starfield, we are going to start off by defending the spaceport from multiple terramorphs. We are a low level character, building up our skills, so it'll be a little challenging facing off against these terramorphs. But uh, sit back and uh, have some fun if we start off this uh, match against some terramorphs. I tell you, their psionic attacks are a nuisance. Don't worry, chat. That's just a terror morph getting in your mind, telling you he wants to cuddle with you. Get out of here. <laughs> and second thought, that creepy laugh, don't cuddle me. One more Terramorph out here. You see Vanguard, baby. Slot you right there. All wrapped up. We, we should go tell the sergeant what happened. It's over. So oh, damn it. If these How things could reached have the happened? populated areas of the city, we would have had an absolute massacre on our hands. That's right, Sarah. There's something I need to talk to you about. Oh, you always want to talk you to okay? me, Sarah. Vitals all still where they're supposed to be? Not in a million years. Another attack, just as we're making our request? Yeah. It's insane. Yeah, I agree with you, Adrian. If this doesn't convince the cabinet to proceed with our request, I don't know what will. Almost hard to believe. Suppose we were just in the right place at the right time. Not in a million years. If this doesn't convince the cabinet...
I feel like I'm looking at AI from Star Citizen. One of the finest Marines I've ever served with. That's right. Let's go. I'm looking a little dapper in my Mantis outfit. Cabinet's already got a plan in place to make sure attacks like this never happen again. I hope so. Can't happen soon enough. Thank you. I need to get so he owes you I need better skills and better guns, guns, damn it. We were just in the right place at the right time. Captain, we should report back to the president. Let her know the terramorphs have been dealt with. Take care of yourself, Sergeant. Let's go talk to him. They said you're free to come and go. That's a relief to hear. Thank you, gentlemen. Let your people all know how much we owe them today. We're yes, counting on you, Captain. Ah, there you Don't are. Don't let my people sacrifice. I believe they... we have some things they said we should discuss. Over that we can... Captain? Hadrian? It would appear that the Cabinet owes you our thanks for what you did for the city today. Put a little cash in my as bank As well out. as an apology. Your concerns about the Terramorphs will consider them validated. Yeah. Thank you, ma'am. Let's not push it with this chick. Of course. I only wish we could have acted sooner. Now, today's events have only clarified our path forward in the eyes of the cabinet. You will have our full support in collecting the Terramorph data from the archives, as well as a subsequent investigation into the nature of these attacks. But to accomplish those goals, we're going to need the right people in the right places. As such, the cabinet has authorized me to reinstate you, Hadrian, effective immediately, to your former rank of major. All right. As soon as we've got the data in hand, we want you investigating these attacks and how to stop them. Will you do this? I. Y yes. Yes, ma'am. I'd be honored. Excellent. But as you both made clear, for such an investigation to succeed first. We're going to need someone to convince the Free Star Collective and House Varun to play ball. Someone who knows precisely the sorts of dangers the colonies and all the galaxy are facing right now. The Cabinet wants you, Captain, to be that representative.
The cabinet wants progress and wants it quickly. Okay. You're already far more familiar with the situation than any diplomat would be. There's also no diplomat alive that can claim they helped keep a cadre of terramorphs off the embassy doorsteps. The cabinet was unanimous. They want you. We do. In exchange, we're willing to fast track your citizenship upon collection of the data. All right. So, will you help us? It has its perks. Only citizens can purchase property in the city. We also pay reduced prices on most goods and services across the UC. Nice. There's also a credit disbursement when you first join. Help get you on your feet. But above all, you'd become a dedicated part of the all greatest right. faction in the galaxy. Well, I can't pass if that you're deal willing up. to help us, we can open that door. I'm glad to hear it. Now, we, of course, won't be sending you in without the proper support. Deputy McIntyre in the Office of Interstellar Affairs will be your guide on gaining access to the archives. You should be able to find her in her office across the hall. And on behalf of the whole of the United Colonies, you have our thanks. You're dismissed. Heroes are terrible. Near their ugly heads. You've seen them. How's your contract going with Janet? She's dark getting a plan of sense of the state. All right, let's take a peek here. Two skill points, right? Sure, they get what they require. That must make you my vanguard captain. Welcome to Interstellar Affairs. I'm Deputy Chief Diplomat McIntyre, Chief Yassine's second in command. Okay. I heard you were instrumental in protecting the city from the attack. You have my gratitude. I was also informed that you gave quite the presentation to the cabinet. Chief Yassine wants you to know the Interstellar Affairs Office is fully committed to this endeavor. Accessing the Terramorph data and beyond. We're going to do everything in our power to make sure you have the tools you need. And that means first getting you into the Archives. You do know what the Archives are, correct? It was a mutual agreement, but I suppose you've touched on the spirit of it. So, you also know then that it was originally managed by the three major galactic players. Access to the archives is only granted in cases of dire emergency, 
and requires a one-time use code from each of the three Armistice signatories. Mm-hmm. UC, Freestar Collective, and House Varun. Now, the UC is already on board, so that means we'll need to convince two people, the ambassadors of the Freestar Collective and House Varun, to hand over their codes. Oh boy. Get them both and you'll have your data. But that's a lot easier said than done. I couldn't agree more. Keep us simple. However, going. both ambassadors have reasons they won't or can't work with us. Oh boy. Now, I'll provide guidance on how we believe you can acquire each code, but ultimately, it'll be up to you to get them both to cooperate. And I do mean cooperate. Oh boy. Threats and violence are off the table here. Though that doesn't mean we can't get creative. But it does mean we need to get you up to speed on who you're dealing with. Who do you want to start with? Ambassador Radcliffe of Freestar or Ambassador Balmore of House Varun? Hmm. I'm low level, so I'm not sure if I can handle gunning with some of these Varun guys, but. Take a challenge. Ambassador Balmore's a challenge. Yeah. When the rest of House Varun retreated into seclusion shortly after the signing of the armistice, Balmore stayed here. He's since lent his support to a small number of archival requests, so there's real hope he might again. Though claiming to know how a member of House Varun thinks is a quick way to earn yourself a psych eval. Well said. There's no reason to assume they're any worse than us, despite their cultural beliefs. Of course. But there is... Oh, sorry, I was happy. ...another wrinkle. Uh-oh. We're not 100% sure Balmore is actually still alive. Oh, shit. Like really? public appearances were always rare. But it's been several years now since he last poked his head out. Really? Scans of the facility show life signs, but not the kind we were expecting. Okay. Your task is to find him and kindly but firmly remind him of his duties under the armistice. The Varun delegation brought more than a few of their native flora with them when they set up in the embassy. Okay. It seems those plants have been allowed to flourish, making it hard for us to verify what's flora and what's ambassador. The embassy is still legally House Varun's sovereign territory, so we're not technically permitted inside. We've snuck in the occasional spy, of course, but the ambassador has proven more evasive than you'd expect for a man of his age. But we're quite sure he hasn't left the city. The man stands out. Then you dead. search the embassy for his biometric key, collect your code piece, and we'll go about notifying his next of kin, if we can ever find them. But let's hope it doesn't come to that. Well, what I asked. It would at least be a speedier negotiation. Got that right. But I, of course, hope the ambassador is alive and well. McIntyre. Now, the embassy front door isn't an option, but our spies have stated there's a side entrance that should allow you access. Here. This device should get you all the way down to the embassy interior. Once you're inside, though, finding the ambassador is going to be up to you. And fair warning, we received a report that alarms might have been tripped inside the embassy during the attacks. Mm. Watch out for automated security in there. I have something I need to discuss. Sarah, you always want to talk to me about that. Let's talk. Anyway, as I was saying, the artifacts aren't exactly what you'd call normal. <laughs> true, true. But hey, how else would you describe it? The artifacts are so different, so alien. And I'm certain one of them reached out and spoke to you. Quite the mystery.
Is that? <laughs> After spending years gathering data about the artifacts, you'd think I'd have all the answers. Frustrating? No. <laughs> Bewildering? Yes. It would be... Oh, well... An explorer's dream to solve a mystery like this. I knew I picked the right person for the job. Good, I'm gonna keep her Look, happy. I wanted to thank you for taking the time to talk. And right, for keeping no an open mind. And I also wanted to say, uh -oh. well... I'm pleased we're on this journey together. All right, me too, sir. <laughs> it's the best decision I've made in quite a long time. Now I'd walked out of this office without learning about both ambassadors. You definitely wanted to listen to the storyline about both ambassadors. Captain, I was on the assumption like I could do one at a time, but nope, you have to sit and listen about the story for yeah, each ambassador before the mission well, activates. We're not 100% sure. You'll want to be careful inside the embassy, though. It sounds like the attack might have kicked off the automated security. Okay, well, uh, apparently I'm not done speaking to her. Captain, would you like to finish your briefing yeah, on yeah, the ambassadors? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Apparently I learned about the Free Star, too. All right, fine. <sighs> The good Ambassador Ratcliffe. She's a veteran of the Colony War, and her only goal in life is to make ours miserable. Now, officially, like our office is suggesting you try and negotiate with her. Use your experiences as a member of the military and with the threat we're facing to convince her to lend her support. And who knows? Maybe that'll work. Stranger things have happened. You never know. But my suspicion is we're going to have to rely on other tools to get her code. Great. Certainly. See, good diplomacy is all about the careful application of pressure. We just need to find the squeeze. Uh, squeezing a free UC star. Intelligence has a recording device planted in the ambassador's living quarters, which we suspect you can use to your advantage. But getting caught trespassing is a quick way to land yourself in an embassy holding cell. So, if you are going to try and access the device, you're going to need to find a way in there without being seen. Now, we recovered some intel we believe should be able to help with that. But there's also a disgruntled staff member you might be able to pump for information. Maybe even convinced to work with you. Name's Cameron Long. He's younger than Ratcliffe, bears less of a grudge towards the UC. He works closely with the Ambassador, making him a promising source for information on the ins and outs of Embassy life. Okay. And someone who very likely hates her guts. Yes, many. Don't steal anything. Don't get caught anywhere you're not supposed to. Absolutely do not harm anyone. If something goes wrong, We'll do our best to smooth things over, but I can't make any promises. Great. All right. Here, your diplomatic ID. I'll give them a heads up you're on your way. Not likely to let you through the door otherwise. And take these. Chief Yassin wanted you to have some options on how to proceed in there. Now, if you have additional questions or require clearance for a new approach we haven't already discussed, don't hesitate to ask. I'd suggest you start with Ambassador Radcliffe. Approach her while the attack is still fresh in her and her staff's mind. Be smart out there, Captain. Great. All right, let's do it. All right, so we got right, Okay, go. free star embassy, here we come. Let's see how this goes for us. Hard to believe it's been two decades. Since we were at war with them. I know.
visitors are only allowed in the lobby, offices, or conference room. That means you. Yes, ma'am. I'm going to be up front with you. I'm not happy visiting anything related to the Freestar Collective. But you lead, and I'll follow. Didn't say it was gonna illegal touch it. That's oh man, really? They're guarding the coffee, Sarah. better news and see it from CNN. Uh, excuse me. Are you supposed to be in here? Guests can make themselves comfortable. I'm sorry. Do you have an appointment? Heck yeah. Ah, you're the one McIntyre called about. Yeah. The eyewitness. I'm kind she of a said big thing around here. Board. You have my thanks for what you did down there, truly. Saved many lives. Now, she also mentioned that, and maybe it was just a bad connection, that now the UC wants Terramorph data from the Armistice Archives, some of the most highly guarded information in the galaxy, in order to protect us all. Yeah, yeah. I can only presume you're here to tell me I misheard her and that they didn't send New you a local hero to fuel it I'll take behalf. the coffee. Tell me I've got that right. Hmm. I was afraid of that. Let me be frank, Captain. The answer is no. That information is there because it is dangerous. Yeah, I know. I will not be the one responsible for its release. Now, why don't you quit wasting my time and yours and go? You're really gonna push this? Yeah. All right, I will give you one chance, one, to convince me. Understood. I'm listening. All right. I suppose you're right. Our Whoa. job and our responsibility. I'm, I'm persuading her. Londinian. They had to abandon the planet. Yeah. But that couldn't happen again. Suppose you might be right. Whoa, I think Easy I did it. Easy to lose sight of the big picture sometimes. Well, Captain, you I did it. I persuaded her. Points. But if I'm really granting you access, I'm going to need the following concessions. Your access will be limited. You can only take out the items related to stopping these terramorphs. The monitors will make sure of it. Okay. You go in once. You get everything you need on your trip, and never again. And all research done with the data will be monitored. If this data is being used to save the galaxy, the galaxy needs to be involved in the oversight. You got it. Freestar scientists will watch your people like hawks. So, do we have an agreement? Sounds like a plan. Excellent. Follow me. Coming this way? All right. All right, boss, you lead the way. Oh, she's a fast walker. I gotta walk faster. Oh, I'm gonna bump into you. Sorry. Ma, look at that cloth. The outfit looks good on her. That Starfield cloth looks good. They tell me it should only take a moment. And. Here, I'll reach out to Deputy McIntyre. We'll coordinate the necessary oversights. Two unlikely allies, I guess. I 
I suppose we're in this together now. We are. Alright, I think we did it. Alright, so we convinced her. I got a feeling this guy is going to be harder to do. Prototype equipment? They're watching me. I better not touch anything. What's this? Shiny. Brown crew. Ooh, what's in here? Am I sleeping? Ooh. Credits. Oh man. I think they're watching me. Let's not piss them off. I can't touch shit in here. Everything's. Security watching my ass. Look at that. She's just head out. She got a shotgun, sir. Act like we just act like we belong here, sir. Blocking me, sir. We belong here. Hey, where am I? Where am I? Uh, okay. Sounds like it was a real mess down at the spaceport. Yeah, it was. Ways only. Sarah, I'm lost. I really don't know how to get out of here, Sarah. Tempting. All that coffee on that shelf. I was thinking of taking it. Act like I'm just I belong here. Yeah. Now we're at the side entrance of the Varun Embassy. And let's go and check this place out. You know the crap hit the fan when you got empty toilet paper rolls in the lobby. Well, this isn't what I expected at all. It appears the flora they were using as decor has overgrown the entire embassy. 
Thomas era. Mass man. Empty toilet paper. You know the shit hit the fan down here when you got empty toilet paper with tube rolls laying around. That shit hit the fan pretty hard down here, Sarah. Activate turrets. Yeah, please protect me. I think that's a good idea. Never could get the hang of hacking. I prefer a more direct approach myself. Stick with me, Sarah. I'll change your ways. Something you might be interested in.
here in this place. Right now, I'm just exploring to see if I can get any credits or any decent loot. One thing nice about this is always check your scanner because it will bring up an indication of where you need to go on your mission if you ever get lost or confused. Kind of nice if I could take that suit right there, but nope, it only registers as a mannequin. This is where it starts to get really eerie and creepy. I feel like I'm in a scene from Stranger Things. It'd actually be more fascinating if its branches weren't blocking our way. Uh, I'm going to back up and try and play the corner here and take the angles on him. But he's not following me. Boys got jumped. Coffee cups everywhere. Poor bastards.
shifts. Don't piss air off. What is going on? This place is freaking weird, man. The Varun are just odd. I mean, just random mannequins put in different spots. Wild plant life. Something I'm watching on a Stranger Things. Just a very odd setting. So what I'm doing right now is I'm using my harvester's laser as a weapon to try and work out my laser skill trait. We'll see if this works. It's a little trickier I'm at right now. I think I almost got stuck. Like I've used my jump jets to try and reposition myself. Eventually I will get free. But it's uh I was touch and go there a second. I thought I was permanently stuck here. So I'm not sure if I'm facing a glitch in the mission, but I just can't get this door open. There's no UI saying to open it. Which is kinda odd. God damn, Sarah. Watch out. Sorry, Sarah. Okay, so I have A up on the second floor, and I'm wondering maybe I've got to go vertical to get up there and go to the window, but no, I can't get up there, and the window's solid.
shot glass. They can use bandages. A little credits. You got some snake oil. <laughs>